Well, hello everyone, and welcome back to Alfredo's Pizza Cafe. Last episode, we started work, well, we set up and we ran our auto serving, auto busing system. Is it getting tricky? Yes. Could we do with some auto, like with some dumb waiters or something? Yes. Can we implement that with our current setup? No. Like we're kind of stuck right now. Um, in the sense of that we don't have any research, we can't reach anything. I'm, I'm, I'm boxed in here. The only other way to, to change this would be is if I put if I put this here, put that to that, and then I have this little space over here to work. So I guess I could do a little bit of research there as far as getting some teleporters in. Um, would teleporters help? I don't know, honestly. I don't know. Because the issue now, well, it would help as far as having more tables. Um... But I think we're just gonna run this. We're just gonna run this day, and see what happens, and then we'll get it set up a bit better next day if we can. But uh, we're just gonna jump right into it because there's there's nothing really much for me to do except talk to you guys, have a chit chat. Because we have 138 customers. Because we have instant ordering, remember, and we also have individual dining. But at least now the pizza's backing up right away. Even though it's only four pieces, <clears throat> there's no back. There's no wait in the beginning, except well. Now there's a wait, of course, because <laughs> there's a wait now because um, we're out of pizza. So I have to try a little bit harder next round if we make it that far. You just want to keep a steady stream, steady stream, steady stream. Again, you're limited here with the speed of the grabbers and the speed of the safety hob. Now, in hindsight, we could probably get away with using a regular hob. Danger hob, it, it worries me a bit. I mean, we are portioning quickly. Um, if we use a danger hob, I would try to set it up a different way. But I, I'm not. I don't want a chance. I mean, the regular hob would be fine because we can't burn anything. Like the issue is, we're not getting through the pizza fast enough. You know, what would be a great card, like a great maybe like a franchise card or even like a customer card. Is customers move faster. <laughs> That'd be good. But right now, we're just working on a steady stream of customers in and out. There's nothing I can do with this current setup to make this go any faster. Uh, customers still have a certain speed they walk. They have a certain way they sit down. Even though it's instant ordering, there's still a little bit of a hiccup there. It's not like as soon as they sit down, boom. It's there's you know there's about two seconds, two three seconds, and then they instantly order. So it's instant order in the sense you don't have to take the order, but it's not as instant as I would like it because we're already filling up. We're about a th maybe a th maybe a third of the way through. Not through customers, but through the day. Because remember, we have closing time. And that's where the trouble comes from, from closing time. I could probably just kind of chill out here and let some of these back up a bit. Not really much for us to do, which is fine. Back in the day of the play testing, when the combiner or the portioner, one of the two, when they were introduced, you could actually set that up to a wash basin and it would automatically do the dishes for you. It automatically would, would work on a research desk. It would automatically work for putting out fires. So in that regard, you could you could set a rig up up there where that where the hob is and put a danger hob with a fire extinguisher with a portioner or something pointing at it and it'll never burn. Uh, good times, but obviously that was bugs and they were you know op so that was phased out. We're starting to get a line already, which a line isn't the worst thing because what a line does is as soon as there's at least one customer outside, it stops all inside patients from going down. That is a tier three buff of exclusive, by the way, which is, you know, is a pretty powerful one when you're doing runs like this. But, you know, could it be better? Of course. Like, I wish it would be like an instant, instant car where you could serve people before they even sit down, <laughs> which I guess that'd be a little bit out of left field, wouldn't it? That wouldn't make too much sense. But we're doing okay here. We're rolling through things as normal. And, uh, yeah, we'll see. Uh, we'll see what happens here. We have a bit of a backup outside. I mean, we're get well. I mean, every day we're getting like ten more customers, so of course there's going to be a, uh, of course there's going to be a backup, you know. But we're doing okay. So we're going to keep on keep on rolling here, see what we can get through, and yeah, and go from there. I'm 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 hopeful that we'll get through at least one more day, but you never know. <laughs> you never know because each one of these runs takes about fifteen minutes now. And like I said, I, I can serve faster than this. But as you can see, our issue is not serving fast enough. Our issue is the customer speed 
at which they walk, where they sit, because if it's, if it's one of the coffee tables that's all on the right-hand side of the screen, the customer has to walk all the way across, which you may say, well, then get rid of the coffee tables. Yeah, but it's, just, it's worse if they sit outside. And it's going to be dark soon because you can see the, the time fading outside. As soon as it, oh, it's dark, look how fast, look how fast that timer's going down. I think we lost already. I think we're done. Oh, look how fast it's going down. Look how fast it's going down. Because as you get up in the higher level OT runs, we're done. We're done right here. Oh my gosh. This is, <laughs> there's no, there's no way we're going to get past this. Because like I said, as you get up in the OT, the overtime days, every timer, your patience, we're done. 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 Oh my God. We're done here. There's no way we're going to get through this. It goes down faster and faster and faster. Look how fast it's going down. We're done. We're done. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my gosh, guys. That was a valiant effort. Could have been done better. Yes, if I wanted to spend tons more time doing it. We got the OT day 14. That's not, it's nothing to sneeze at. We had a lot. We had 130 some customers. Not bad. Not bad at all. We franchised again. Put it that way. Garage item. Cool, cool. So we'll franchise this um, because um, look at the card. They're all customer cards. So which ones do I like the best? Now it's like this one's irrelevant, this one's irrelevant, this one's irrelevant, this one's irrelevant. This one's relevant. Well, this one's actually not irrelevant. This one this individual. So which ones do we want to take with us? Like I love my instant service, but if we take the card now, it won't pop up again. Closing time, definitely not. Splash so individual dining is actually not bad. But I think like instant and individual go hand in hand. I just don't know if it's worth because we're gonna be we're gonna, because we're, again we have variety card, so I'm gonna start leaning probably towards more sides now. So having things like this and this and this are not very good. I don't think actually individual might be good. So because remember it's pizza, so I think what we'll do is um, get rid of this one. I mean all none of these are terrible. A lot of these are free cards, but if I'm if I'm looking towards the future with variety as well as um, variety, as well as another, like taking sides to reduce the customer count. Individual I think is good because it's just, um, but then again, if you have cheese boards, that's all cheese boards, but maximum group size is one. I think that's gonna be fine. We can always get flexible dining off of that. I think we're gonna go with that. Blindfolded Chef, again, these, these are all free cards. Like it's a free card, free card. It's just which one, I don't want to take closing time or splash zone. So it'd be one of these. I like instant ordering, but in the beginning of the game, instant ordering is not good. So I think what we'll do is we'll take Victorian because whatever we take now, we can't get later. That's the only thing. Um, I think we're going to go with these and we'll franchise this, of course. We could scrap everything, get XP. But again, once you reach level 15, there's nothing else to unlock. So scrapping it for XP really doesn't mean anything, to be honest with you. So... But then again, are we going to play this franchise again? I don't think we will. I think I had enough of this pizza run. And uh, I think what we'll do is, you know what? Let's just scrap it. Minimize all these. Let's just scrap this franchise. Wrap this up. Alfredo's Pizza Cafe is dead. We're going to scrap this and say goodbye. Because this is not set up for a good variety run. Now we're back to where we were here. Watch out, cats. Now, I want to thank you guys for joining me. This has been a fun... I know this is a short video, obviously. When you're watching it, if you got this far, you know I lost because why would I make a video that's only 8 minutes long or 10 minutes long? But this has been a fun series. If you've enjoyed my videos, if you're enjoying this series, please consider leaving me a subscribe. Tell your friends. We'd be much appreciated. We're getting... We're working towards our next goal, our next next subscription goal. Subscriptions on YouTube are free. You don't have to pay anything for it. It would just really help me out. And then uh, obviously I was always, I'm always on Twitch on Mondays and Wednesday evenings at 9 p.m. Eastern, sometimes Sundays, sometimes Tuesdays around the same time. It just depends on my schedule. If you're following me on Twitch, you obviously will get notified when I go live. And uh, yeah, if you enjoyed this video, I I'm sorry that's a bit of a short one, but you know, you, you win some, you lose some. It's just that outside patience, like, you know, fast, like it was probably like less than two seconds per customer, excuse me, and then it just died. And I thought we could stick it out but it's just impossible but you know what that's quite okay if you enjoyed this video please consider leaving me a like as well as a comment would much appreciated if you made it this far in the video let me know what your favorite part of this series i think this is part 13 or 14 something like that it's been quite a lot of episodes 
It's about two weeks worth of episodes, which is crazy. Um, I'm not sure what my next series is going to be, but after you watch this one, the next day there's going to be a brand new series out. I'm thinking maybe doing some kind of hamburger run or do we cut it back and go back to stir fry or do we go to pies again? I'm not really sure. Feel free to leave in the comments below uh, if you have an idea of what you like to see me do. But in the meantime, thank you guys continually for the support. Much appreciated. Um, always nice seeing everybody popping in and seeing the views and the comments. It makes me feel good and makes me uh, feel like you guys are enjoying my content. And that uh, that means a lot. So thank you guys so much for joining me. And I'll catch you next time in a brand new Played Up series. Take care now.